how do I stop missing dunks? How do I dunk more consistently? And right here, the number one cure for all of it. <coughs> Yo, what is good guys? Welcome back to Dunk Tip Tuesday. New tip every single Tuesday, things that I wish I knew when I started, answering your questions, so leave a comment. I like to see the comments I get the most common. There's so many goals when it comes to jumping higher, that's why I wanna make these videos, whether it's jumping higher itself, dunking in games, dunking on people, dunking off different plants, trick dunks, consistency, dunking in contests. There's tons of different ways jumping can help your game and I wanna help you in every way and there's so much I've learned that I can share with you, so let's get to it. Every single week I'll answer your questions and I got the top comment from last week which is from Talik Cruz. Says, not funny, Steven Sally really motivated me to go after what I want and play college basketball. I watched him ever since I was in junior high school and I'm a better athlete than I ever was, working hard and learning how to recover. Keep up the great work and positivity you helped me a lot. Thank you for everything. That is a lot of love. Thank you for commenting. That is an amazing comment. I really appreciate that. And now the question of the week comes from Zafer Adahan. And I had a few different questions from this, got DMs about this. I've seen this question a lot, which is why I love doing this because it really helps me answer these questions in one place. So can you do a video about jumping high, but being unable to jump, but being able, unable to dunk? I have this problem. I jump high enough, but can't get the ball through the rim. And then another comment, Daku Daku, inspirational as hell, but one thing I never understood about dunking, or maybe it's certain people's styles, but they have a 40 inch vertical but missed dunks. And now my boy Daku Daku, great name. I don't know if he means he was having that problem or he just has seen that, but either way, very common, see it a lot. How do I stop missing dunks? How do I dunk more consistently? And right here, the number one cure for all of it is jumping higher. And I know there's a lot more to it and that's what this video is about. I'm gonna get into the different factors that help you get that first dunk, help you dunk more consistently, so let's get into it. First of all, I gotta say, I can say this because, double checking it's recording, I can say this because I went through this exact phase. I know what it feels like to be back rimming, missing, feeling like you're right there. What am I doing wrong? Obviously, you wanna jump a little higher. For those just listening, I'm gonna use my arm as the rim and my hand as if it's holding a ball. But just for a simple cure, jumping higher fixes everything because you can keep your hand on top of the ball and dunk down. And I know the feeling because when I was back rimming, it felt like the ball's over the rim, my hand's over the rim, why am I not getting it through? But it's because you're, you're dunking forwards, you need to dunk down, you need to dunk the ball down. So jumping higher helps, but there's, here's the factors, but here's the factors that really helped me when I wanted to get the consistency and what I learned through this process to helping people get their first dunk, which is this. Timing and placement. I have a video on how to throw a lob and where to place the ball and how to get a better lob, but where, where you want the lob, if you're just thinking about it, where you're practicing it, is right above the rim and really close to the rim. When you throw a lob, you want it to bounce and almost land on the front of the rim, and then all you gotta do is smack it down. But the key here is smacking it down grabbing it and pushing it downwards. And one great way to do that is low rims. I know you guys have probably seen Isaiah's videos. He's huge on low rims. He's one of the best at doing difficult dunks. And that's a big key is the low rims. And the reason for that is because there's so much muscle memory, speed, and technique that goes into a dunk. And even if it's just your first dunk, trying to get the ball through the rim, just that simple. If you've never done it on 10 feet, it's a really good idea to practice catching the ball, timing it, and feeling that flush. And that is huge, whether it's a eight foot rim or even a nine nine rim that's just a couple inches short. It's really good to get that muscle memory and feel the ball going through, practicing a lob, catching it, even if it's just your first dunk, that'll help a ton. But that being said, anything, whether it's uh, getting your first dunk, doing a windmill, doing a between the legs, doing an elbow dunk, all of these things, the higher you jump, the better, obviously. But all of them combined also have technique, and I had to learn it with the windmill and the between the legs. If you go on my channel, you'll see me missing it a ton. And this is a great story for me to learn that even though I was jumping high enough and dunking consistently, I was missing a windmill, and I wondered why. I lowered the rim, and I still couldn't do it on a low rim because of the technique. I got it that day, it was like a 9-8 rim, you could Google it on YouTube. Google it on YouTube, what? 
9.8 rim windmill. I tried it like a hundred times that day. I got one or two, but my technique was bad. And that taught me that day that even though you're jumping high enough, there's a lot of technique that goes into it. And there's a lot of technique that goes into just your very first dunk. The timing is huge. The placement is huge. And if you get those down, if you're back rimming it, I truly believe you can dunk it right now because if you're back rimming it, you are getting the ball over, you are getting your hand over. It's just about being able to time when you push down and maybe even push it through the front of the rim. Doesn't matter. If you're on top of the ball and you push it through the rim, that's a dunk if you're pushing it down, all right? We also want to yam. So that's gonna come with a little bit more height and timing. A yam is all about timing because you really wanna flush it through, make it hit the rim, and really dunk it hard. It's a clean dunk. It's like a swish on a shot, right? That's what it's about. So there's a lot of timing, a lot of placement, and then of course, jumping higher. But again, when you get that first dunk and you practice and you get that timing down, that's something I've gotten really good at, the timing of the lob and the finishing, you're gonna get more consistent. So how to stop missing dunks? Practice on low rims, get that muscle memory, get that placement, get that timing, and then just push yourself to jump a little higher. Throw those lobs that are a little bit out of your reach because I'd rather you go for the ones out of your reach to get that full max jump stimulus than the, than the jumps that are low because then you're gonna be reaching down for the ball. And when you're trying to get your first dunk, every little fraction of an inch matters. It always matters throughout the whole journey, but it's, I know how hard that first dunk can be. So the placement, the toss, all those things have to line up. And just remember, if you can back rim, I really believe you can dunk today. All right, guys, that is it for Dunk Tips Tuesdays. Don't forget to leave your questions in the comments. The question I see the most is going to be next week's topic, so I'm excited. I really can't wait to bring you more information, and stay tuned for my dunk vlog. Ah, I dunked on Christmas Day, had a lot of fun, so stay tuned for my own dunk vlog journey. If you're into supporting me and you want to see me try to get that 45, try to dunk on people's entire lives because I there's just too many people playing basketball. I gotta end some people's careers. I'm kidding, but I do wanna dunk in games. That's my goal. I have so many goals, whether it's, all right, guys, I hope you had enough for this week. Enjoy your rest of your week, whatever. Happy holidays, happy new year. Thank you for subscribing. Leave your comments. Let's go. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>